Have you noticed how when you are happy at heart, your face lights up, your eyes shine, your whole being lifts up, etc. The entire body speaks a different language. This is more evident in believers who connect well with their Lord, experiencing a natural high by worshipping Him. In Islamic understanding, the life of the heart comes from the divine connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the heart. The heart's primary and fundamental function is to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The mind, limbs and senses were granted as tools to connect the two our heart with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Simply put, our heart instantly comes alive when it recognizes, understands and worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just like a dead cell phone charged to function efficiently. How is the lifeline of our heart enhanced? Carrying small expectations. This relates to the knowledge based on reality that we are here in the world for but a short while. When this knowledge is internalized in the heart, it develops a correct worldview. Just when we embark on a trip, we carry selective and very significant baggage. If the hotel room doesn't offer us a very comfortable pillow, we don't go to the market to buy one for ourselves. We adjust with many inconveniences, ignore and bear hardships. We know that we are on the go. Our permanent destination is somewhere else. This is not home. Likewise, our eternal and perfect home is in the Akira in Jana with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our heart is not too sensitive or desperate about missed worldly pleasures. On the contrary, if expectations are endless and illegitimate, and Daniel is perceived as a place of permanence, life becomes miserable. To ponder upon the Holy Quran, it means to have your heart focused upon the meaning of the Quran in the correct context. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, divine scripture as the miracle to enable us to place ourselves in those times and circumstances when the Quranic ayahs were being revealed. The connection builds and forms a deeper and personalized understanding. The outcome is contentment, liberation and clarity, which is indescribable. When the heart comes alive, it inspires the way of believer things. That is the game changer as his behavior, speech and insight all altered due to an internal motivation and do not require outward incentive anymore. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, This is a blessed book which we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, that they might reflect upon its verses and that those of understanding will be reminded to protect it from corruption. What corrupts our heart? Here's a list. Too much socialization personal and virtual, gossip, idle talk, vain discussions, arguments, false praise, unlimited comments, unnecessary posts, videos, etc. We cannot even part from our screens before and after our worship or prayer. It has robbed us of the sweetness of faith. It is critical to mindfully build solitude in our schedule. Forger or pre-dawn is the best time prescribed for it. Solitude is not loneliness. It is our me time to evaluate our life decisions and growth. The pause in life is to be with our Creator only, to talk to Him, which is impossible in a crowd. Overeating, it becomes a barrier between us and our heart. The stomach is a vessel that should not be filled to the brim. Its optimum functionality is in it being like. It only needs pure and timely sustenance. Overeating not only ails the physical body, but weakens the soul too. Excessive sleeping. The best example that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted to every human being in terms of an ideal sleep pattern is that of the birds chirping around us. For millions of years, we have observed consistent behavior. 
how they rise with the sun and settle with the sunset. If only humans could take inspiration from Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, perfectly synchronized universe. Following desires, desires are like a wild and untamed moth that will eventually throw off its rider into the pit of fire. They are a doorway of the shaitan. They blow out the light of reason and nur of the heart that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted it to perceive the world and decide rightly. They snatch away the good fate attached to a believer in delayed gratification, giving preference to the creation over the creator. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Quran, but they have attributed to Allah partners the jinn while he has created them and have fabricated for him sons and daughters without knowledge. Exalted is he and high above what they describe. Shirk weakens the strength of the heart. The tranquility from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is blocked. Conclusively, the success of our life depends upon the excellence and soundness of our spiritual heart. Galpsili. We can enter Jannah through it in this world too, as it grants pleasure. But the heart that did not experience the first Jannah in the world will not experience the ultimate Jannah in the Akira either.